G'day guys, I've got the two 7000s here, one's been upgraded, one has not. So one has all my hard work done to it on the uh, electronics and the other one is standard. So I'm not going to tell you which one's which, but I'll show you afterwards. I've got uh, just this onto its um, own audio output with the microphone sitting there. So hopefully it's loud enough. I'm not going to use a WM12. Uh, with all this wireless microphone stuff, it makes distortion on the audio of the iPhone. So I'm keeping it clean. So I've already done everything on this as in channels and anti-interference, ground bounce, ba ba balancing. Uh, <laughs> balancing. <laughs> yeah. I brought my own ferrite there. So I, I've done the um, hard yards. So it's all stored in there. We are in difficult, um, difficult ground, high yield, running a gain of nine. So both will be on nine and everything else is the same. So anyway, I buried another target fairly well down here. And this one is a little bit bigger. It's uh, six grams and it is, uh, I, I brought the pick, the pick's there. Don't worry about showing the pick. But uh, I'm looking into the sun. It's pretty sort of low in the sky, but we'll give this a, a go over it. We'll see what we get. I think I'm just getting um, some uh, earth field. Yeah, it's earth field. Hang on a second. Definitely in on nine. It's gonna give it a little bit of a force. Um, it's got a little bit of a hee haw in it, which is interesting. Um, this one is the standard Mine Lab 7000, and it doesn't sound that good to me. Okay. That's the target there. come down a bit wait for the cars to go down the road I'll just wait for the cars I should have put the WM12 on it but it's so damn loud it attracts people around the place so Okay, I would say that's a threshold of signal about there. Do you want to measure it? Oops. I had it resting on the hip stick. It just moved. Hang on. Stay in there. I'm going to do it again. About there. Somewhere about there. To the bottom of the coil. 17 centimeters 
the target is probably 10 or more in the ground. Okay. I think the WM12 definitely pumps up the audio than driving. It's meant to drive, well, these are fairly sensitive, but it's not headphones. Okay, plug that in there. I'll clip that there. Okay, power him up. This is the same settings as that one there. It's no difference between the two. I made sure it's absolutely identical. In high yield, gain of nine, difficult. Hang on, so you're not gonna hear that. Um, the microphone's disappeared. The microphone's fallen off. There it is. Yeah, it's still, it's still on. Yeah, the microphone fell off. So that would be a bit of a disaster. Yeah, you know, I was saying... Where's the green light? There's no green light. Anyway, we'll come back down here again. I just don't want the sun in my eyes, so I'll probably turn my back to you for a minute. Okay. I'm picking up the other detector. Can you take it away? Trouble with detectors, you, you leave it where you were and that's what happens. Anyway, this thing's ground balanced and we'll go over it. That is far more punchier. I'm not joking. It's the same gain. I haven't got the audio boosted or anything. It's just so much more grunt out of this. Cars. No matter where in the bush you go, there's always cars. Okay, they're gone. No, there's one coming. Motorbike. It's going to make a racket when it goes past, of course. No, it's a car. I can hear the motorbike rumble. There it goes. Very low rumble. <laughs> yeah, it's probably a bad time. It's probably everyone's knocking off from work now, and that's the trouble. But anyway, let's go over this one again. God, it's clear still. Try that, the ruler. I can hear that signal very clearly. It's, it's hardly any noise. 23 against 17. Same settings. I'll do it again. Okay. Another car. <laughs> If we do this in the middle of the day, there's no, nothing around. And it's just now. It's just bad timing. <laughs> okay, let's try again. I can still hear it clear as. I'm dying off there. If I hold it there roughly, 
go and give it a quick measure. I'm trying to keep it stable. It's actually difficult. 26 on threshold signal. I'm going to fire that other detector up and compare, but this thing is just dead quiet. This is the modified one, and you'll know that by the back's held on with two screws. So that's how I don't muddle it up. I've only got a couple of screws in there holding it together. Uh, that was just for the trial and to see if I need to do any more work to it. But this thing is just humming beautifully. It's, it's just a fractions of interference. It's nothing. I didn't really even, um, I didn't do the anti-interference. Anti I did it at home. I haven't done it here, but everything else is the same. So I'm, I'm quite amazed at that. That is, that is, um, I don't know what to say. That's gob, I'm gobsmacked. Yeah, I'll try, yeah, I'll take this one over here so we don't muddle it up. Oh, dear me. Yeah, yeah guys, don't stick your finger in the, um, where that hip stick is or else you'll get squashed fingers. Hang on a sec. Stick it in there and I'll push that around. There we go. That should be better. Does it fit my arm? Yeah, that's all right. Okay, we'll just do the same thing we did before. Sun's going down to the trees a bit now, so I, I'm not going to get my retinas burnt out. Hopefully. Yeah, gain of nine. Everything else is the same. Okay, I'll just go over my ferrite. Um, not that you really have to, but I will. And then I'll just go over it on the ground to make sure she's uh, um, nice and stable. The other thing too, if you noticed, they came and cleaned up all that rubbish that was dumped here, thank God. So I've just done a bit more, scraped it over there. There's there some... Uh, Whatever's in that uh, leaf litter there makes a noise. But here, we've made sure it's all clean. So I can actually get that other target there as well. But we'll just go over this. Okay. And then I'll go over here. Just force a ground balance. Probably good enough. Now, I'll spin around. No way, no, it can't be that big a difference. Guys, I'm not joking, you have a look at this. I don't know if you can see, can you can you see? Where am I? There? It's gain of nine. It's exactly the same, it's nothing different. How's that? There? Yeah, closer. Yeah, okay, okay, closer. I'm not looking, so I don't know. Yeah. There? Yeah. Yeah, it's completely the same settings. This is this is the factory one. And the reason you know that because I haven't even I haven't touched that uh, security sticker there at all. The other one, no, you, it's got a little mark on it, but uh, this one is um, no joke. It's. I was going to check the settings again, just in case anything's off. I don't think it is because I went over it. Okay, high yield, difficult, threshold level thirty-seven, pitch fifty-three, volume limit twelve. Cheap. Oh, it's going to go into silly stuff now. I'll go back. Ground smoothing off. I turn ground smoothing off on both detectors. Um, ground balance mode auto. Same on both detectors. Auto smoothing off as on both detectors. And there's, there's nothing different. Ground type difficult. Okay, I'm at, at the end of it all. 
Okay, back again. There's a massive difference. That's the target. Right there. So I made it that the edge of the coil would go in that little lip there. So I know exactly where it is in the middle. That's absolutely, that's weak as water. That is really weak as water. Guys, I don't know if this, I could classify this as a fair test because the other one is absolutely uh, smashing this. That's bizarre. But seeing is believing, this is a stock standard detector. It, it's been used by professional detectorists. Stock standard. That one there um, belongs to a guy who's pretty active on the forum too. And I just did his 6,000 for him. And that's his uh, seven. And his seven's just smashing it. So, I don't know. Could, could the amount of noise generated inside this detector be smashing the... Um, the dynamics out of the receiver. I'm going to go home and do some measurements on this. I'm going to give a hard look, a very serious, very serious um, um, probing with the oscilloscope over every part of this board to see if something funny is going on. I haven't even had this apart yet, so I've got everything lined up to do the upgrade on it. I've just got to separate it and install everything, but the other one's been done. And this one hasn't. I had to keep a reference. I always keep one as a reference around for as long as I can. Sorry if, I, if you're uh, hanging out to get your detectors back. But hey, I'm making them better for you. Really, really much better. And like I say, it's uh, always a work in you know, motion. It's, it's continuing. So I, I, I'm, I'm lost for words. I really am. That is just bizarre. There is just so much difference there. I mean, we haven't got two rulers. <laughs> you can hear it anyway. It's just amazing. God, if, if this is standard and I go over everything and it, and it compares the same as what it is now and I don't find anything wrong with it, I want an independent witness to come out and have a look with that and this because that is just, it's a ridiculous amount of improvement. It really is. It, that's crazy. Um, I know I've got good improvement out of other ones I've done, but not that. What was that um, on that distance there? 17 to 21 centimetres. That's really, really bizarre. Um, yeah, I don't know. It, it can't be a coil problem because the way the coils are made, they're, they're meaty and beefy. Um, it's exactly the same type of coil. But I will test it. I will go back into the workshop. Um, Maybe I do a live stream while I test it or something and just make sure everything's the same. You can watch it. I'm, I'm just uh, gobsmacked. I don't know what to say about that. But this, this, whew, I don't know. <laughs> I'm lost for words. Sorry, I'm actually in shock that it can be that much better or this is that much worse, whichever way it is. I have a feeling that I've actually made this one a hell of a lot better. That's what I think. And this is just operating standard. Uh, that was a, roughly a six gram target. And uh, we're getting it. Oh, God. It, it, it's, it's, it is. It's way down. It's around about 10, 10 11 or 12, somewhere around there centimetres. Um, the way I put it. it depends if you measure it from the top or the bottom of the target too. But... Uh, yeah, and, and the other one there, the four's still there as well. So um, oh, I'm just amazed. And I better not leave my ferrite here. This one's got a higher permeability than the ones, the yellow ones. Uh, that This makes it track hard. It says you are going to track. So uh, 
that's a uh, Amadon core FT43, whatever it is. But uh, you, you shouldn't you shouldn't need to um, force your detector to track on on ferrites or uh, any sort of iron core uh, material. It should just track on the ground. But uh, that's the way it is. Yeah, oh, I'm just hawking. I'm 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 packing up, so I don't need to. You can spin that round if you want. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's better here because I've got, got, I'm blocking the sun in my face. Yeah, okay. I'm finished. But guys, I am gobsmacked. I swear to God. I'm absolutely... I was left-handed. It's quite <laughs> dyslexic, isn't it? <laughs> okay. Bye. Okay, see yous.